it's me. I, swear. I ain't gon' lie, your head colder than the AC. <laughs> gon' hit the streets, see them boys ain't me. ain't me. I done turned on more pussy than these niggas seen. I, swear. I done stepped on a lot of shit, I got cool to feed. Talking slime broad day like the movies be. I just need one more ride with my nigga B. We been thugging with the Uzi since school to be. You niggas looking real goofy, posing with the switches. Doing it for the gram, ain't never been on a mission. Look me in my soul, you might see another nigga. Yeah, I believe he told he getting paid to ball with you. My niggas got 20 plus, I gotta send pictures. BJ say go fuck his bitch, sorry I had to get you. We was writing on the walls before Gucci said it. They told me where are all my ice on the jail visits. I just gotta talk to gotta him. Talk to him nigga. Hey, I just wanna talk to just him. Just hear me they out. They ain't rapper how we live. I'd rather talk to him. Cap rap. They say they really did until I talk to they him. Ain't doing it hey, I just gotta talk to him. All I hear is a bunch of lies once I talk to him. These niggas just rapping. I'm just talking Let to my soul. I'm living my life. You niggas rapping about it. Yeah. Niggas. All right, y'all. This is the Press for Conversation podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Layback Corey. I would say we got a special guest, but we got a special, amazing guest, man. This man is doing things, not just in the Motor City, but he's doing things around the world. He got a hot show we're going to talk about and a YouTube channel that's that's growing. And I like what he's doing, man. My main man, Tuck Money. What's What's up, man? What's poppin'? What's up? What's up? What's up? I know it's Tuck Money here. What's the word? So what's going on with you, man? What you been up to? Uh, just grinding, trying to take everything to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, I hear that, man. So tell us, man. Tell us how did you get in touch? How did how did you become an artist first? So look, I was doing music. I had my cousin. They was rapping like way back. I think I was like 13 when I first seen my cousins rapping, uh-huh. and they had it inside the crib. So it was like the booth was in like the closet, mm-hmm. and then I don't know what it was. They had was like, man, you should try to rap, but they was writing my raps then. So then I had just hopped in the booth and it sounded good. Then ever since then, I just like how to put words together and tell stories and stuff like that. So that's how I got into the music for real. What? So what music cool influencers did you listen to growing up? Um, man, I was listening to a little bit of everything. Like my family loved music. Like I said, my cousins was doing music, so we was listening to like the Jay Z's, like. All the way back down to Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying? So we were just listening to all the good vibes. I just love music, period, you know? Yeah, I can tell, man. I can tell you really love music after looking at your background and what you have have done and things. Now, tell us, as part, how is it easier? Like, what's easier, being an artist or a DJ? Or is it the same? Uh, what's easier? I feel like being a DJ is easier because, like, being an artist is like you got to do, like, ten times the work, you know? Like, as far as, like, if you're not popping or something or you don't got no motion like that, you feel me? It's, like, harder to work it up and try to build these other relationships with people, you know what I'm saying? Versus being a DJ, they dang, they really got to come to you and see you, you know what I'm saying, to get the music. So you building relationships off that, though. But I feel like being a DJ is kind of easier for real. Did you start out doing – did you do house parties and stuff like that? Do you, st- do you still do house parties too or no? I ain't coming to nobody. Crib, I ain't gonna lie. That's, <laughs> all, that's over with. Like, if, with if, the, if the price right, I'm coming though for sure. I ain't gonna lie, but I, I really um, you know, I'm trying to stay away from all the house parties for real. I ain't gonna <laughs> yeah. lie. So what's what's the wildest thing you've seen as being an artist and a DJ, like in the music industry? Like, what's the craziest thing you've seen? Like, not Cra- even on oh, no no bold stuff, but just positive. Like, what's the craziest experience you had? Man, I'm gonna tell you the craziest thing I ever seen was. Somebody playing somebody else's music in the club when somebody wasn't there that they didn't like. I'm like, man, it be. But you don't know. That's not your. That's not your job to know the beefs and everything that be going on. You just there trying to rock the party. You know what I'm saying? But it can get wild if you don't pay attention. You know. I think you should ask questions though. Like ask a person what they want to listen to. You know, especially if they a high commodity person. I think you should at least pull them to the side. Like, hey. I'm going to be playing music here. I know you hear, you know, just play your jams and what music you don't want to hear and things of that nature. Because like you said, you don't know, but you know who's coming to the club. But then, but then sometimes you really don't know because then some artists be just trying to hang out. You know what I'm saying? So they might just go to a little spot that you at, you know, and you're not, you're not even knowing that they about to come into the spot. You feel me? But that, like I said, your job is to rock the party, not know what they got going on in their life. You feel me? Now, how do you feel about Detroit rap back then and now? Like, how do you feel about it now? Back then, how did you feel about it back then, and how did you feel about it now? So back then, I feel like, I feel like, it's all it was all good. I just feel like we growing now, and like the the light is on 
Detroit. So like I feel like um the music scene has always been good though. Like I always been a fan of the music. I remember like seeing people back in the day like, dang, I wanna be on go to the summer jams and perform at the summer jams and all that. So like to really see people that I seen put in the work back then that had major deals now, it's just like it's just a beautiful thing. I'm glad to see everybody just keep growing and keep putting that work in and working hard and staying consistent, you know? So like I love it. Let's talk about this in the field. Let's talk uh, about the field. Oh, yeah, man. Man, for y'all, for y'all, Tug Money is a very important guy, man, in the city, man. He's very important. <laughs> very, this, this dude is, do a lot. Like I say, he just ain't no guest. He's a special guest, man. He, he didn't, on this in the field, man, he done had a bunch of celebrities, man. Payroll, uh, HBK, he done had T. Dot Pringle. He done had a lot. Was G T two T? He done had him. He done had a lot. A lot I can't even, even mention. But the, all them guys that been on the platform, they was hot, man. He done, he done had a lot of artists, man. D J B J. He had a lot. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Lots of people on there, man. That that that's doing something, man. Yeah. So shout so out tell, to all them that just been yes, man, supporting that, and just coming yes. out. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all, boys. One, one of my favorite episodes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. One of my favorite episodes is with the one Jake. J Wine, boy, that boy, man, oh, yeah, that dude. Yeah, he fired. <clears throat> yes, dope man. artist. So, how did you get in touch with? Uh, I don't want to say his, the person name wrong, so I'm gonna let you say it. It's you and uh, Cinematic X, right? Oh, that's C- when C- Cinemaniacs. Cinemaniacs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cinemaniacs. I partnered okay. up with Cinemaniacs. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. I had I had met him through a, a friend, mm-hmm. my, my brother Bobby. I met him through Bobby like years ago. You know, wow. and we did a lot of music together. We made a lot of uh, tapes because he produced and everything like that. So like. Um, yeah, I met him like that, and then we I, we had his idea, and then like when we did it, it was just like let's do this, and it became what it was. Wow, did you did you see it going the farther way as he did? Yeah, like, when when we first did it, I knew it was gonna be big, cause like that's what made me put rap on the on the side. Like man, hold on, no, let's focus on this and lock in on this. This is gonna be the biggest thing. You know what I'm saying? So like that's when I when I seen that, I'm like after the finished product came out, cause I did it first. That's how I started. I had a tape that I was trying to promote. And I was like, man, I want to do something that can be intimate with the fans and touch the fans, you know? So then when I seen the finished product, I'm like, oh, yeah, no, we about to turn everybody up on this. And then after that, that's how I, the rest is history. You know what you're doing? You know who you remind me of? <clears throat> I want to say this. Oh. Big Tigger, rap scene in the basement. Oh, base. man, everybody say that, man. Yeah, but it's because you your platform, man, you're giving everybody a chance to pop out, to, to let this – let the world know what the city of Detroit is. Like, <clears throat> when I pull out rap in Detroit, like, your video actually pops up. Uh, For real? Yeah, in the field. Yeah, that's a big platform. That's yeah. crazy. Like, you might think it's just taking, but it's actually taking off. It's actually right there, bro. Like, everybody, man, everybody. It, it's hard not to look at. I like it, man. It's, I like It's fact, crazy man. because it's like, I just be working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, right. I just be trying to get to the next level, but. It's just, it's just growing, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I just be working, trying to put the work in, stay consistent, and, you know, give give people great content, you know what I mean? Perfect. Right. So, uh, ask, that, I, I love it, man. I love everything you're doing, man. So, tell us, uh, what's your, um, what is your favorite music you like to listen to? If you can listen to, uh, like, three songs back-to-back over and over again, what are, which ones are they? Uh... I ain't gonna lie, I've been off that scissor, uh, snooze. Uh, can I look? <laughs> when I, yeah, I like that. Um, I like no cap and um, Rollo. Um, thing for you. That's one of my. That's one of my favorites. Um, and I like. I love all the J Cole's and Drake. So I like. I play them in rotation so many times. So like, I like all of that. But that snooze, that got mm-hmm. me in a chokehold right now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Do you listen to country music? <laughs> Man, I will listen to it. I don't really know too much of it, but I will. <laughs> I do at night. For real. <laughs> <laughs> the country music. Hey, I vibe with it. I love I love all the music. I ain't gonna lie. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to it, man. But no, it's I like I said, I when I looked at it in the field, man, and see, I'm like, God, man, I ain't know he I I like I said, I've been reaching out to you. I was reaching out to him for a while, y'all. I was really and then when I see you that day, I'm not gonna close too much on it. But when I see you that day, I was like, wow. I'm like, yeah, man, because I was giving out flyers yeah. in the front. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. So do you, besides that, do you play any instruments like piano, drums? Oh, back in the day when I was a kid, I did I took um drumming lessons and then I was uh trying to learn the organ and everything like that. But 
I can play like little songs that everybody can play, but I can't really go on there and try to make no beat and you know. But I can I could do a little something now. Yeah, that's that's cool, man. So tell us about this crazy YouTube channel, man. This channel. Great. Oh, man, see, the YouTube was just, <clears throat> I just was trying to entertain, you know, like, you oh. talking about when you see the girls. On oh, you doing a good job at that. <laughs> you do a good job at that, man. No, the whole, the whole thing of that was just like, I felt like it was uh, the females, they needed a safe place where they can pop, they, you know, mm -hmm. they can, sometimes they don't really, <laughs> they don't really get to be them. Can I cuss on her? Yeah. They man. don't really get on there and be able to pop their shit, though, you know what I'm saying? So it was like a. I want to be on there to ask people stuff that the dudes really want to know. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they might be in their DM for years at a mm -hmm. time. They want to know the other side of you. You right. know what I mean? So how do you deal with women? You know, I got to ask you this crazy question. <laughs> how do you deal with women with bald edges and ashy ankles, man? How you deal with <laughs> that, man? First of all, I'm gonna tell you about yourself, and I ain't gonna lie. Oh. I knew you was bald headed before. He me. needs some milk. <laughs> I knew I knew you was bald headed when I see you. I probably ain't. You feel me? But we can just get you some good weave or something. <laughs> We can get it right, get you a good get one. Get one of them what? The oh, hundred and twenty dollar bundles. Man, what? <laughs> they hear me costing. They hear me costing like a mug. This I, just, I just tell women just go bald. You know what I'm saying? Just cut it off, go bald. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Some girls look good bald though. I got my co-host Tasha in the background. So some girls look bald. No some mind. girls look good bald though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. It's it's some nice, it's some beautiful women out here, man. Like, but I'm I'm glad you're doing your thing. I I just make sure y'all subscribe to his YouTube channel too, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe. Tuck Money ninety three on YouTube, man. Yep, and it's oh, don't forget about his TikTok too, cause yeah, he, this Offic dude, official Tuck underscore. Yeah. yeah, see you doing this thing, yeah. man. This guy is really doing this thing, man. I'm telling you, get to him now, cause soon or later he gonna be he already traveling, so he's gonna be all over. I'm telling you. It's, this is a movie. This is I'm the biggest platform in the world. If you don't know, you movie. need to get hip. Right. Are you, are you gonna be playing in some two V movies? Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually in mm -hmm. two movies right now. Shout out to Cino. He got me linked up with them boys and um I'm in McGraw Ave. Oh you wow. Know? Yeah. I'm in that and then I got it. We got another one called it's called Family Ties. I'm in that. See, doing big things. Yeah. See, I'm telling y'all doing big things, man. <clears throat> you trying to do a little bit of everything, man. Yeah. You can't limit yourself. You got to be able to do all That's this. right. I was watching the movie, but I got fired. What happened? Um, I got on set. You know, I was late. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. I was joking. But, <laughs> I'm about to say, <laughs> when you be late, <laughs> hey, I'm a yeah. on-time person. I ain't going to lie. I be early. Yeah, because, I mean, you can, you, can, you can never, like, if you're early, you can't be late. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're doing something crazy or something. So when did y'all start this platform in the field? So it's probably been like, we started it back. I think I did mine's first one. When I first did it, I think it was like in like July. Okay. Or Ju yeah, it was like July or June. I, I don't know the exact date, but mm -hmm. like our year just passed. Like, it might have been like June, though. Mm. Yeah, it was like June. So it's only been like a year and a couple months for real. So now I see now, too, that you move over to the levels because you got them answering questions from the question card. Yeah. The funniest one. Was with baby money. Oh yeah, <laughs> he yeah. hilarious, man. Yeah, his went crazy too. I ain't gonna lie, but that's the thing, though. That's we try to get them to see the other side of them, you know, their personality right. and things like that, because you know they see the artists on Instagram all day, but like the questions is show them like, okay, that really is down to earth. Mm -hmm. You know, everything, everything out here right now is personal branding. So you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If somebody feel like they know you, mm -hmm. they'll really buy anything from you just to support. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, it was really just to show the other side right. of them, like. You know, show their character, things like that. So do they? Do you? Do you have a lot of artists like in your DM hit you up for interviews and things of that nature? Man, that DM be going so crazy. Sometimes I don't even see a lot of it because mm -hmm. they be going so crazy. So people probably be thinking I be ignoring them or mm -hmm. things like that. No, it just be going that crazy. I'm sure, man. Like I said, that that's a big platform, man, and it's a it's a lot, a lots of artists here in Detroit. Yeah, and it's a lot of and it's a lot of good artists out here, though. You know, like yeah, like uh, you 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 had a lot of them on your platform. One of my favorite ones too, besides was T Dot Pringle. Oh yeah, he's fire. Yeah, he's fire. yeah he T Dot that. Pringle, nice man. He so. speak that real shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he make he you do. feel it. You know, what I'm saying no. you can tell. Okay, he probably been through it for. But real. my favorite artist, one of my favorite artist from here, besides Payroll, I, that you had on your platform. HBK, I oh like yeah, HBK man, yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's crazy, man. You had DJ <clears throat> BJ on your show too. That that's really good because, like I said, I done radio personality. Mm -hmm. I ain't hot yet, but I, him, I look up to him, and you know, and Doctor Darius. But mm -hmm. I also look up, like I said, to you, Tug Money. That you doing your thing, man. That's why when I see you today, I was like, wow, man, like wow. because I really see the vision. I really seen it. Like, the first thing I thought about was Big Tigger, you know, BET. Like oh, yeah, you know everybody, everybody say that though. I mean, that's a great thing, though, because that's yeah. what's missing. And Detroit, 
it's room. It's really room for opportunity here. It's like sure. nobody should. It, it shouldn't be no haters here at all because it's yeah. opportunity. But like, they, they here though. Oh man, well, I mean, if you don't have nothing, then something wrong. Yeah, it, it's sure. it's sad that sad we got to say that, but mm-hmm. you need somebody. Somebody got to talk about you in some type. Got to be talking about. Then that's still promotion right there. You yeah, it is. So I, the it, that's why I say if somebody relevant, you shouldn't even talk about it because now, especially to women, when guys talk to to, uh, to women about another guy, oh, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's weak. And not only that, the girl is going to go look and see who you're talking about, and mm-hmm. not who you're talking about. When they meet the person, they're gonna tell what you said and they're gonna start hanging with that person. Not even that. She gonna you gonna you gonna be talking about me and she probably don't even know me. If she come out there, she's gonna see what's going on. Right. She, and then she gonna wanna she, she gonna, gonna wanna see what's good. She's gonna try to come over here. Yeah, and she, then wanna, she come over here, it ain't no coming yeah, back. She yeah. wanna go, she wanna get in the field and then when she get into that backyard, it's a wrap. It's no. over with. It's <laughs> over with. No family barbecue. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just, you know, it's just hilarious. Now, what's your like where where should I go? When, where, where, what's next? Where do y'all want to take the the in the field show? Do you want to get it picked up by a major platform like BET, yeah, Pamela, Hulu? We need, yeah, we need them come bring that check. You know what I'm saying? They bring right. that I'm check. Looking. Go, right. Vote, whatever. We were just trying to make it a big network, though. We have mm-hmm. our own in the field network. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Okay. It'd be like the revolts and all that MTV. We have right. our own situation. So are you planning on doing a big thing like um, – like one on six and park, like a big thing, like have a big crowd, like yeah. just that right, the hip hop, the yeah. hip hop show, yeah, they here come, in Detroit. Listen, like, I'm willing, I'm open to do everything. So they come with that bag. I'm doing it all. I know. think I, I think your time is coming. I think your time. I think you're right there. I think your time. You and you and uh, Cinematics. I think your time is coming. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying his name wrong. Cin- Cinematics. Yeah. Cinematics. So like next, I just want to. I want to. I want to. Um, Get into like the festivals and all that, like so throw festivals and mm. all that music festivals and like in the field, you know. You know, so crazy is room enough room here to do that yeah. because a lot of people is <clears throat> it's not working on their platform or doing doing things. A lot of people want to be not just here in Detroit, all over, but people are like bandwagon hoppers. Mm-hmm. Like they want to see what's the next hot thing, you know, going on. But like I said, I like to watch the come up, like where you come up from and when you did. That's why I had to have you on this platform because it's like. I want to know who we want to know who really tuck money really is, yep. you know, besides in the field. So what was your rap name? The same thing with the artist? Yeah, my rap name was just Tuck, though. Oh, just Tuck? Yeah, just Tuck. <laughs> and then I don't know, like, I ain't going to lie. The whole Tuck money thing, like the money on the end of it, people just see me and be like, Tuck, Tuck money, Tuck dollars. So I just ran with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I really just go by, like, Tuck for real. But So do a lot of people call you that uh, when you are out and about? Like, they yeah. be like, Tuck money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Even they, just be like, they, just be like, they just be like, Tuck, you know, all the people I grew up with, they really be calling me like my first name or then they just call me Tuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, combo, baby. Yeah, so all together, combo's the combo, you know what I'm saying? Tuck and Tuck Money. Yeah. So who was your very first artist on in the field? It was me. Oh, you? It was but me. I'm talking about, okay, fire behind so you. So I think it was uh, it was Dave Hill. It was okay. Dave Hill and Guapo. Yeah, that was the first, like, after we did mine. And then we went and did them. So then my then my homeboys they do music and everything too. They fire too. I want to say I, I watched one guy just recent. His last name is Cham. Uh, uh, I think it's Cham. Uh, Cham. Chamber. Chamber. It's start with C. And brown skin guy. I don't want to say his name wrong because it's a big platform. Who? I'm, uh, I'm trying to think. Who's a, we didn't did so many people. Bro. Uh, it's the Charvis. Oh, 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 you talking about Chavis, yeah. Chavis, yeah. Chavis Chandler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chavis yeah. Chandler, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to say name wrong because, you know, my calls and them, they got a history to get me on. Like, like he fired, side. though. I ain't going to lie. He fired. He really, like, he, like, on the next level, though. Like, with the music. He been doing it for years. He, like, really next level with the music, though, for sure. Mm. Chavis Chandler, man, he could do everything. The singing, the rapping. It's going to be deep. And mm-hmm. he probably freestyling a lot of it, making it real quick. So, yeah, he's fired. So, have you ever thought about getting back in the studio? I know you're doing your thing in the field. You're doing your thing. But have you ever thought about bringing out at least a mixtape? Like, going back in? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to get back in there. Me and my homeboy, Bobby, we was just, my boy, Bob Shell, he do music. And we was just talking about doing, like, a tape together because we done made so much fire and music together. So, mm-hmm. like, I'm going to probably get back in there for that. You know what I'm saying? But I still write music. I just don't be putting it out for real. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I see you. So, are you doing your, um... What this like? Are you gonna be doing your own little, little like a day in the life like on film for us? Yeah, like, so like yeah, I was gonna vlog this, but I had left my camera at okay. the house. So like I just be trying to get all the content I can, just of everything, you know. Right, I usually, have, I usually have a cameraman with me and everything like that to but, let everybody know what you're doing. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's great, man. Not too so. much, but just let them see a little bit of it, like what's going on, because we have okay. it. 
it's going on like this every day. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so when can we expect a new episode of the, uh, of the In the Field? Man, we dropping them. Um, I think we dropping one Wednesday. Okay. I don't know when it's going to come out. So when it's going to come out, so it's going to be, uh, mm. well, it's going to be Wednesday when we dropping another one for sure. I Man, I can't wait. Like I said, I enjoy it. Yeah, we I try to drop like three or four every week. So it'd be like at least three a week for sure. So do y'all go to like different places or y'all got a, a specific place? We, no, we, we in the field with it, so like we just go out and find the, the location. Same Thank day. you. Okay. Okay. Yep. So but if it's like if it's gonna be inside though, we gotta like plan that of course. Like you know. And you know what's so crazy? If you when people show your you see your um your hustle, your grind, they won't even charge you. They'll yeah. be like they give you for the love because they see what you want to do. Yeah, sure. They see you grinding. Like and sure. that's and that's the love. That's what you need. Like people gotta understand. You know you gotta put in the footwork. Yeah, you, you just gotta you gotta really just believe in yourself. And then mm-hmm. once they see that you believe in yourself, they don't got no choice but to believe. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even put that work in, you know. And then it's like, how you want me to support you, and you don't need to support yourself. That's like you having a clothing brand, mm-hmm. and you trying to get me to wear the clothing brand, but you got on Gucci. Right? Why don't you have on your clothing brand? Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? crazy. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that makes sense though. I mean, why would you? Why would you not? Uh, like you said, why would you not put it, put it into your brand, like? You know, some people say they don't want to have, no, I mean, everybody, you know, you got to have a nine to five. Like, some people do, some people don't, but take that, like you say, take that money and put it into your crap. Yeah. So, it's like being at a record label. You just got to use that and do what you got to do. Yeah, just, I feel like it's just a tool for you to invest in your and what you're trying to do, because if, you, you know, you're working at nine to five, you're helping somebody chase their dream. You feel me? Right. You got to put that money that you're making or whatever you're doing, if, even if it's not a nine to five, whatever you're doing, man, mm-hmm. put that money into what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Invest in yourself. That way you can get up out that situation to a better situation. You know what I'm saying? If your situation ain't right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to grind and keep grinding. You know? So I see you wearing the piece of cat hat, but I'm going I'm, I'm to see because I see you online. What's your favorite? Like, we be like dripping. Like, what's your favorite outfit you like to put on? Man, I just be missing. I be liking, I like everything, though. I ain't going to mm-hmm. lie. Like, I barely put any thought into it. I just mm-hmm. wake up and however I'm feeling, like, okay, I'm put this on today. But piece of cat, though, these my guys over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. supporting their brand. Shout out to Andre, you know, DJ BJ, mm-hmm. everybody over there, my boys. That is crazy. So what you do, like, on your spirit, like, when you're not doing it in the field or you're not, what you what you doing with your spirit time but outside of that? Man, if it ain't getting to the money or something, I'm chilling. I'm vibed out. I'm with the females. You feel me? You're right. We having a good time. We outside, Party. you know? Yeah. yeah. Not partying really so well, much. Well, it's like, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah just know. enjoying myself. Yeah. Right, because you, know, you, you still got to enjoy yourself, now. Nah. Right, having a good time is a good party to me. Not, sure. not even just like, because I don't, I don't smoke or drink anything. But having a, you know, just partying with your friends, you ain't got to be doing it. Just hanging out, just relaxing, figure out what's their next move to now, yourself. Now you do know 99 percent of these girls like to drink. So what you be doing? Um, I just be chilling, man. I be drinking. You know, I, I'll buy like drinks for them, and I drink water. I don't, I don't really drink, so I don't, you know. So you, I, want, so you want to get them drunk? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you trying hey, oh, to hate me. You trying to get me busted. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, no, my no, yeah. drink. That is no. crazy. I, I don't, though. I don't drink. I don't drink or smoke. So I just I let everybody else just do it. Yeah, I'm about mm. to quit all of that. Yeah, so I just don't do it. I like everybody uh to to have fun. Just like I'm having fun with this interview. This is a great interview, man. Like I didn't, I didn't like I said, I was prepared for this interview. I, you see, I was been calling you for the longest. Like, yeah. man, come on, Tuck, Tuck. Oh, he just sure. been he just been very busy, y'all. He he, but he still came, and I appreciate that, yeah, man. For and, sure. um, I had to come out and mess with you, my boy. Yeah, that's pop So let everybody know that's um that's looking at this interview, looking at camp, looking at the interview. Where can they find Tuck at? Oh, so look, man, you can find me outside. You can say no. You can find me on Interfield Live. <laughs> you can find me at Official Tuck mm-hmm. TikTok. I'm just getting into the TikTok thing. But you can find me at mm-hmm. official Tuck underscore on TikTok. And make sure y'all go follow my YouTube, man. Tuck Money 93. Go follow that right now. Okay. But before we get out here, one more question. If you can do a lot of episodes in one day, how many? If I could do yep. I don't know, because we didn't did like we didn't did like six, seven episodes in one day. See, that's what I'm talking about. You that's what I'm that's saying? like that's grand. We putting right it in like we was doing six, seven episodes mm-hmm. every day for like months. Okay. You feel me? So we would get we would get started at like four o'clock because you know it's, we started doing it like around the winter time, so it was getting dark mm-hmm. early. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So we could be outside early mm-hmm. and get it done. But we would be outside from like four to like twelve. You know okay. what I'm saying? So like we getting it in like that way because you'd rather be like full than starving. You know what I'm saying? 
So you got to have that content on deck. That way you can release every day, every day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So we just be putting that work in that we was doing six, seven episodes a day. Dang, yeah, every well, day. Like I said, everybody else out there watching this podcast, man, BET all over, man. Make sure y'all pay attention to my man, Tuck Money, man. Yeah. And send him any X, man. Yes. Make sure y'all pay attention to him, man. It's in the field, and it's going down right yeah, here. Yeah, we in the field live with it, man. Y'all make sure y'all go watch that. So make sure y'all check him out. And check him out in the movies, too. Y'all heard what movies is in yeah. on Tubi, so. It's on the way. Make sure y'all check him out. This is the Press for Conversation podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Layback, Corey. My beautiful co-host, lovely Tasha, is in the background. She didn't want to interfere with Coming in the middle, which is cool. So Tasha. thank you, thank you for thank you for coming so much. We appreciate you, man. And I appreciate y'all for having me for sure. All right, y'all. Till next time. Peace.